Oh, <gasps> look at that. I'm a demon now. I'm only level two, and this class is fun as hell. This would never happen to you in a regular World of Warcraft. You would have your stupid frost bolts. I'm a motherfucking reaper. Retail's gonna be in real trouble when this comes out. <laughs> this is Ascension Conquest of Azeroth, the long awaited 21 classes realm. Necromancer, Pyromancer, then we have Cultist, Starcaller, Sun Cleric. Tinker, Rune Master, Primalist, Reaper, Venomancer, Chronomancer, Son of Arugal, Guardian, Stormbringer, Demon Hunter, Barbarian, Witch Doctor, Witch Hunter, Knight of Zoroth, Monk, Ranger. But there are so many interesting options. My favorites for now are probably Necromancer, maybe Pyromancer. Definitely Sun Cleric and Reaper, but I'm definitely looking forward to trying all of them. Every single one. So it's Human, Dwarf, Night Elf, Gnome, and Draenei for Alliance, and Orc, Undead, Tauren, Troll, and Blood Elves for Horde. Go through them, what, what they would look like on a human. So this is Necromancer female, this is Necromancer male, Pyromancer male, and female looks much like a mage cultist female male star color for star color i need to be a different race night elf star color then we have sun cleric female and male tinker this is rune master this is primalist much like a druid reaper Venomancer, Chronomancer, Son of Arugal, Guardian, looks like a warrior, Stormbringer, Demon Hunter. I wonder if Demon Hunters can only be Elves, Night Elves for Alliance and Blood Elves for Horde. Yep. Barbarian. Nobody can be a witch doctor. Only orcs and troll can be witch doctor. No one else. That's interesting. So they limited this uh, this class only to horde? Witch hunter. Let's go back to witch doctor. Just show you what it looks like. This is it. Knight of Zoroth. Corrupted Drenai like Eridar, I assume then. Monk. And then finally, Ranger. I'm thinking Sun Cleric could be a nice starting point. Sun Cleric, and I would just go Human Male, because that kind of fits. Let's see the customizations. So we have like new models, like Warlords of Draenor models. What is this? New spell learned. Gable of Atonement. Strike an enemy for 100% weapon damage plus 5 to 7 and generate 1 solar power. Okay, interesting. 15 rage cost. Melee range. And this looks like Inquisition. Solar Conquest, 20 second cooldown. Instantly generates 25% of your missing rage and increases your attack power by 12% for 8 seconds. It's, okay. Solar Conquest and Gable of Atonement. So we have a damage dealing spell with Gable of Atonement. Melee range seems like it has no cooldown. And then we have Solar Conquest, which boosts our damage. Well, what is this guy? Cunny Bunny. What the heck? That sounds like the uh, original quest have a good one. that you would get on any other World of Warcraft. Okay, what's this? Beginner's Book of Artisans. This book holds a seemingly endless amount of knowledge. Alchemist, so these are professions. And Beginner's Book of Ascension. And there's nothing here. Ah, doo -doo -doo. We have some weapons here. Trial Master's Trophy. Where do I get those? Hardcore Artisans Guild. Hardcore. I'm so lost on this server. Oh, there's some message. Tips and tricks. Stony Tark is the guardian of trials on Ascension. 
Trust or cur curate in new ways to experience Ascension WoW. They range from playing at normal rates to permadeath to random ability modes or Felforge, Rogue Elite and much more. Completing trials grants unique rewards when you complete the objectives. Okay, that's nothing for us then. I just want to play the basic, easy, simple game. What's this Vanity Collection Sync? Synchronize your Vanity Collections between all live realms. Okay, where are my abilities? I can place them on the bar. Resilient Constitution, passive. Ascension Vanity items. Ebon Blade Banner, place down an Ebon Blade Banner, range is 15 yards. Frostforge Rune of Retreat, changes to Elven Forest. And Stone of Retreat, Stormwind. So I have two hard stones. And let's play this, these abilities on the bars. Okay, so Gable of Atonement doesn't have a cooldown, but it costs me 15 Rage. So it's not going to be like ultra spammable. So what I'm starting off with is a one-hander and shield. Let's take a quest and uh, try to kill some mobs. The graphics aren't exactly super impressive. Like the portrait could look nicer. This is like the character portraits that I'm getting on Rattle Lichkin with the new models. But never mind, that's okay. Need help. I threat within. Mark of Ascension. Kill eight kobold vermin, then return to Mar Marshall McBride. What is this for? Mark of Ascension used to obtain Hands of Fate skill cards and Mystic Enchant scrolls. Marks of Ascension can be earned by doing any anything you want. Dungeons, Battlegrounds, Raids, Arenas, Call Board, Quests, Helping New Players and more all grant you these marks. I wonder since this is PTR whether I can get a max level character and uh, so that I could try the endgame instantly. Or do I have to level? Because I don't know how long the leveling would take here. Alright, let's kill some cobbles. Look at the mount! <gasps> Holy shit! What is it? Chaotic Rune Saber. I've never seen that one before. Okay, let's try to kill something. Pop my Inquisition. My Solar Conquest. Damn, I'm pretty strong. Look at that. Holy shit! I'm liking this game already. Man, I'm, o I'm overpowered. Look at that. I pop my Solar Conquest and I destroy it with Gable. What is this buff? Solar Power Enter Sunset at 20 stacks. Let's try to enter Sunset. Yeah, because this Gable generates Solar Power. Each hit generates one Solar... Oh, new spell, let's go. Consecrated Weapons. Grants Gable of Atonement a sunset effect that causes it to cost no rage and deal 25% increased damage. Also generates one solar power every 3 seconds. Alright. And I can put it on my bar? Can Oh, it's a passive. Okay. But this one is an active. Sunset. Empowers your next 5 abilities, allowing them to trigger their sunset effects. This is nice that it actually pops up the new spell, so you can read them and see that you've actually gained a new spell. Let's pop that. Now let's go all in. Dude, look at the effect, I'm glowing. I'm glowing as if I was wearing the tabard from Shadow Ward. Oh, this is cool. Unequip items directly into your bank. Are you kidding me? That's amazing. Sunset. Look at that. Oh, that looks so cool. Uh, let's get these. First level 5. I'm not level 5 yet. Wasn't I supposed to get wrists? Where are my wrists? Wolfskin braces, where the fuck are they? What is going on here? I didn't get them. Are they in my mailbox? No. Is that a bug? How's this guy looking this buffed? I'm level 1 too and this guy's already... Mantle of Ascension. Bringer of Light. At level 1. <gasps> Look at that. Are you kidding me? I hope this is not going to be like super expensive donate item because it looks damn good 
Venom Bolt. It's got to be the Venom class. The Venom whatever. Let's have a look around here, Elwin. Shaman Trainer. What do you mean, Shaman Trainer? There's no Shaman class. There's no Shaman class on Conquest of Azeroth. Do I have my trainer here? A hunter trainer. There are no hunters. Come on. Image of Zelnroth. Knight of Zoroth trainer. Well, that's, that's some cool trainer, I'm going to tell you. You're going to see it from afar. <laughs> oh, what was that? Experience gains increased by 5%. Haste increased by 3%. Did somebody give me this buff? I don't know if trainers do anything here on this Conquest of Azeroth realm. It looks like I've been getting all the abilities anyway, automatically. There seems to be still a lot of work left. Like, we have these priest and shaman trainers, when there are no priest and shaman classes on Conquest of Azeroth. So for those of you thinking that Ascension's Conquest of Azeroth is coming out this year, I don't know, there's so many unfinished things. Come to me if you're interested in new appearances. You can exchange gold for bizarre tokens on the auction house. Uh-huh, so this is probably where that guy got that artifact-like weapon. Oh, look at that. What is this? Incarnation Primal Stalker. Alters the appearance of your cat form. Alright, let's try one more. I really want to try Reaper. Because I think that's one of the coolest. Like, imagine, imagine telling your friends. What class is your main? I'm a motherfucking Reaper. I'm also thinking about Demon Hunter. Because I'd like to see the changes. They're all probably starting at level 1, I assume. You know what, let's try Demon Hunter and let's make it Horde, let's make it Blood Elf. But I'm going Mail. Twin Slice, melee range, requires melee weapon. An instant strike that causes 4 damage in addition to 100% of your normal weapon damage. The second use of this within 4 seconds will deal additional physical damage to nearby enemies and incur a 4 second cooldown. Okay, so you use it twice. An inner demon reaching 100% rage triggers demon form for 15 seconds. Enter demon form for 15 seconds, increasing damage dealt by 5%, enabling demon form abilities. Here you just transform into demon form upon reaching 100% rage. You can't just press the button. And we're starting in the undead starting zone as a blood elf. Well, that's interesting. I think it would look better if they were like crossed on the back. Not like this, because... I mean... This kind of looks stupid, doesn't it? <laughs> Twin Slice. And this is passive, so I only have one active ability right now. Wow, now that looks pretty cool. And look at the flames. The green flames when I'm using the ability. These are not the animations you would get on a regular Demon Hunter. These are custom. Custom made for ascension. I like it. I like this a lot. Alright, there we go. New spell. Felrend. Melee range. Consumes one Fel Fury charge. Cleaves enemies within 5 yards for 168% weapon damage. That's a lot. Generating 5 rage for each target struck. So I'm going Twin Slice first. Then Felrend. I think you need to use Twin Slice twice in a row. Otherwise, you're not getting the second strike that is boosted. Because it is within 4 seconds still. I'm only using one ability in between. Oh, <gasps> look at that. I'm demon now. <laughs> Dude, this is so awesome. And, it, and it's like a combination. It's not an entire like demon form. Like you would have a, with a demon, demonology warlock. This is like a combination, you have the Demonology Warlock wings, but you still look like your character. This is actually awesome. I'm only level 2, and this class is fun as hell. This would never happen to you in a regular World of Warcraft. You would have your stupid Frostbolts. That's all what you would be doing at this level. This is too much. This is too addicting, man. Damn, my class design is amazing. And this is not even a sponsored video. Ascension should uh, give me access to this realm because I had to borrow an account from a friend. Which big props to him because I wouldn't be able to do this because it costs $35. And in my country $35 is a hell of a lot of money. I'm getting items that I cannot equip. Requires level 5. I'm level 2 man. Give me some reward that I can use. 
I want to try one more. I want to create another race to see if the starting zones are the same for the entire faction. Ascension, if you're watching this, this game is really good. What you should do is give free access for like a weekend to everyone to try it out. And I guarantee you, like 50% of those people will buy it after trying it out. It's so good. I want to try the Reaper. Okay, so we're Night Elves. But Night Elves do have their own starting zone. So I don't know what it is with Blood Elf Demon Hunters that are starting as Undeads. Reap. 3 mana, 2 second cooldown. You strike an enemy for 125% weapon damage plus 5, restoring 6 health and harvesting a soul fragment. A soul Harvester. Increases your spell power of your attack power and grants you spell hit. This was my first ever look at the Ascension Conquest of Azeroth. 21 custom classes. They're looking amazing. There's not too many people around as you can see. 11 p.m. right now, so it's a bit off peak, but still, I guess not too many people can afford to pay $35 for access to the beta. It is a lot of money. I would never think I would be playing a beta anywhere. I'd be actually willing to level on my first ever beta testing realm here. It's that good. I've enjoyed the little bit of leveling and uh, exploring the few classes that I did. Retail's gonna be in real trouble when this comes out. <laughs> Retail better pay an ascension real quick. This is gonna steamroll over retail.